Are you single? What's your note-taking method in med school? Would you like to have dinner? Do people at uni recognize you from YouTube? What's with the orange dog? Can you speak Arabic? How is your freshers experience at King's? What is up guys, Karma Medic here and welcome back to another dose. So as you can tell from the title, as you've already seen in the thumbnail, today's video is a 50k Q&A. I never ever ever thought I would reach 50,000 subscribers on YouTube. This is totally crazy and I just can't wait to see where it goes. It's been a really long time since I did my last Q&A and that was at about 5,000 subscribers. So there's a lot of new people here and I want to give you guys a little bit of insight into who I am, what I'm about. So as per usual, I put out a story on my Instagram page we're almost at 10k followers on Instagram, which is a whole other crazy awesome thing. If you don't already follow me on there, do follow me. I post all kinds of cool medical school stuff. Anyway, so I put out a story, you guys sent in your questions, and let's get straight into answering them. So I'm gonna cover all kinds of topics from university, medicine, relationships, YouTube and social media, and a bunch of other things as well. All right, so let's start off with the topic that I'm sure a lot of you wanna hear about, what you've probably clicked on this video in order to see medicine. What stethoscope do I use? It's this Littmann stethoscope. This is just the most common one that uni students get and you can customize it as you want. I've got the burgundy band over here and this champagne finish and I've even got my name engraved on the inside. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. What other medical schools did you apply to? I applied to Bristol, Southampton, King's and Queen Mary's. Tips for studying anatomy. Yeah, absolutely. Download an app where you can view the human body in 3D and you can zoom in and zoom out and see all the different relations of different structures within the body. An app that I I use is called 3D for Anatomy. It's an excellent app and I would highly recommend you check it out. Was medical school different to how you expected? Yeah, absolutely. It was very different. And that's part of the reason that I make my vlogs and I make all these videos showing prospective medical students what you actually do in medical school. I want to make sure people who are applying to medicine know exactly what it is that they're getting into. How do you balance YouTube or life with medical school? Do you think it's easy to be a YouTuber? No, it's definitely not easy to be a YouTuber. This thing takes so, so, so much time and effort but I really, really enjoy it. So I'm gonna continue making videos. As far as balancing my life goes, whenever I get this question in my Instagram DMs, I always say the same thing. Great time management skills and little sleep. What is your favorite medicine related YouTube channel? It has to be Dr. Mike. That guy is an inspiration to all of us, I think, in the medical scene on YouTube. He seems like such a cool and charismatic guy. I would love to meet him one day. How do you find time to reply to all of our messages? This question is from Shehen. He was sitting next to me in the library when I got my offer to study medicine at King's. I try to answer messages messages in any little pocket of time that I have, whether I'm walking to the bus, I'm on the train, I'm commuting somewhere, I'm in bed before I sleep, like I'm always trying to reply to messages. All right, where are you from? Are you from Arabic origins? What is your ethnicity? Yes, I am Arab. I am 100% Jordanian. تعرف تتكلم عربي؟ طبعا بحكي عربي لكلكم اللي عم تسألوني بكل فيديو. Tips for first year uni students. You're in luck. I've got a whole video on that. How do you stay so happy and positive all the time? So I'm very fortunate to say that I am generally a very happy person. I'm generally a very positive person and I am just like how you see me in my videos for 95% of the time. But please do bear in mind I only show on YouTube things that I think are going to be interesting for other people to see. If I'm ever having a very bad day or if I'm super super stressed I'm not going to pull out the camera and start filming myself. So what you guys see on YouTube is a very good representation of me but it doesn't mean that I don't go through those times where I'm sad or I'm upset and things like that. How do you stop yourself from being distracted by your phone when studying? I literally take my phone and I hide it right behind my laptop so that I can't see it, I can't touch it, I can't think about it. And if I find that I'm reaching for my phone way too often during a studying session, I will literally go put it in another room or I will hand it to my friend in the library and that way I just physically can't check it. What made you decide to start filming YouTube videos and pursue it seriously? The day that I got accepted to medical school, I promised myself that I would help other prospective medical students get into medical school. When I was applying to medical school, I was so confused and so overwhelmed with all the different parts of the application. I wished at the time that there was somebody on YouTube who could walk me through it and tell me what to do for each of the components. And I found that that guy didn't exist. So I decided to become that guy myself. What software do you use to edit your videos? Final Cut Pro 10. It's an amazing piece of editing software. But if you're just starting out, I would highly recommend iMovie. That's what I started editing my videos with. And if you're on PC, Windows Movie Maker is honestly great. Shout out to everyone who didn't ask me a question and took the time out of their day to leave me a nice supportive message. Those messages were really wonderful and they made my day. Any tips for freshers if you don't drink? 
yeah, man, just go out, meet people, have fun in the exact same way that you would if you did drink. I know that drinking and the drinking culture in the UK is quite strong, but really you don't need to drink alcohol to have fun. Best places in London to revise. Honestly, me personally, I don't really like studying at coffee shops and things like that. I much prefer libraries. And for that, the Mon Library on the Strand campus at King's is just an absolute beauty. I have a video where I study in there. You guys can check that out on the channel as well. What's your favorite color? You might think it's orange by how much orange I include in all of my videos but it's actually red. Do you watch the NBA? Um, yeah, like I've seen a couple of games. I'm not really that into it. I think there's this team called the Raptors. Don't know too much about them though. You know, some guy called Kawhi like won the championship. It was pretty cool. That's all I've heard. How do you find the right balance between personal life and medical school? Any tips on time management? How do you manage to study and socialize with friends, etc.? Look, I've made a bunch of videos on this topic, so definitely check those out. But the quick rundown is the following. You are in control of your own time and you have to choose what to prioritize on any given day. If you really need to study, because your exam is close, you should study. If you've been studying a lot and you need to socialize and go out with friends, make time to socialize and go out with friends. So on any given day, think about what your top priorities are and make time for them. Is it possible to have a social life at medical school? Absolutely, 100% yes. I have a better social life now than I ever had in my undergraduate degree. If you follow me at all on this YouTube channel, you'll know that I have a well-balanced life outside of medical school that involves an extensive social life. There's definitely enough time. Do people at uni recognize you from YouTube? So yeah, this does happen every now and again. I'm either walking to class or I'm chilling in the shed and someone will come up to me and be like, are you karma medic? I've been recognized once in Canada as well, once in Greece, and then once as well, just walking around London. So yeah, it does happen every now and again. If you are on campus and you do see me, definitely come say hi. I would love to have a chat. What kind of doctor do you want to be or what specialty are you thinking of doing? I know there's a bunch of things that I don't want to do. For example, obs and gyne, urology, ENT. As far as things that I do want to do, I think surgery is somewhere in my future. Rheumatology is also something that I find quite interesting. So really, I don't know. I need to figure that out over the next couple of years. What do you do to relax? What's your favorite hobby? What's your favorite way to de-stress after a long and hard day? Besides hanging out with friends and spending time exploring the city, I am a huge fan of video games. I've been playing video games ever since I was a kid with my twin sister and we still play even now, every now and again, whenever we have the chance. I absolutely love playing video games. How old are you? I am now 24 years old. How tall are you? I am one meter and 88 centimeters. I think that's something like 6'1 or 6'2, somewhere around there. Do you speak Greek? Yeah, I speak some Greek. I understand it very, very well, but I don't speak it as good as I can understand. What's your favorite TV show? I don't have one favorite show, but some of the best shows I've ever seen have to be Prison Break, Breaking Bad, Lost, and yeah, that's all I can think of right now. Do you regret joining the medical field or have you ever felt like dropping out of medical school? No, absolutely not. Being in medical school is one of the best things that's ever happened to me. I love what I'm studying. I'm very much enjoying this experience and I just can't wait to be a doctor. Why the five-year route and not graduate entry medicine? It's because I'm an international student, so the competition rates are higher for me. And on top of that, applying to the graduate entry medicine course has even higher competition rates than the undergraduate course. I'd already spent four years doing an undergraduate degree and I didn't want to delay that by an extra year. So I chose the path that had a little bit less competition for me. I've come such a long way from my very first video. Check this out. Hi, my name is Nasser Karma. I'm currently a graduate on the undergraduate medicine course at King's College London. I'm 22 years old and I want to start making YouTube videos. Do you see that? Do you see how much I've changed? Out of everything you've done at medical school so far, what is your favorite? I think honestly, the cadaveric dissections in year one, actually physically being able to open up a real human body and look at all the structures from the inside, that was something that I don't think I'll ever forget. It was amazing. What was the hardest part of year one of medicine? Definitely the sheer volume of content that you have to learn. There's just so, so, so many different things that are gonna show up on your exam. So make sure you start early, take notes early, prepare for your exam early. Definitely don't leave everything till the last second. What is a cheap and good quality camera to start recording YouTube videos? Honestly, if you're starting to record YouTube videos, I would just recommend using your phone. I was using my phone for the first year that I was uploading videos to YouTube. Honestly, your phone is an amazing camera. You often find yourself being on social media for long hours and losing interest in studies. Losing interest in studies, not so much, but being on social media for hours, yes, I can absolutely relate to, especially now with this YouTube channel and with my Instagram page. Sometimes I find myself spending way too much time on social media. Now, as far as motivation goes, how do you stay motivated? How do you push yourself to study when you're not feeling productive? This is a little bit more of a tough one. Motivation is a very personal thing. I really, really love medicine. I love making these YouTube videos. 
videos. So these are things that I dedicate my time to. I think in order to be truly motivated, you have to genuinely be interested in what it is that you're doing. So I think if you're lacking motivation, you know, have a really good think about what your goals are in life, what it is that you want to do and focus on doing those things and focus on doing things that are going to help you achieve those goals. What is your favorite Greek island? Hands down the island of Lefkada. What is up guys? Karma Medic here and welcome to Lefkada. One of my very close friends has a summer house there and so we try and go every single year. The waters are crystal clear. The beaches and the sand is just amazing. Your best childhood memory. You know, when I first read this question, I immediately thought of one thing and it's me and my sister in our old apartment in Greece, sitting in front of the TV playing Spyro Gateway to Glimmer. Shout out my twin sister. I love you. How do you stay confident and overcome shyness? Honestly, this is one of those things where it's fake it till you make it. If you put on a front where you're confident and where you're not worried, if you walk into a room like you've been there before and you know exactly what you're doing, people will think that too. Also, you just have to realize that literally no one cares about what you're doing. When I started vlogging, I was honestly so embarrassed about holding a camera out in public. But then I thought to myself, if I saw somebody vlogging on the street, I would look at them and I'd be like, cool. And then I'd move on with my day. Realizing that nobody cares about you specifically and what you're doing is huge. What is your full name? My full name is Nasser Karma, hence Karma Medic. How was your freshers experience at King's? Honestly, it was really good. They had lots of events. I went out and met a ton of people. I had a really good time. What's your note taking method in med school? So first things first, I watched the lecture using the online playback feature. I don't actually attend lecture in class because I find it much more efficient to be able to play and pause and write down everything that I want. Then when it comes exam time, I summarize each set of notes that I've written for each lecture into a much smaller, much more condensed piece of information. And then I either study that over and over again, or I make flashcards out of it to make sure that I've memorized the material well. I have a lot of videos talking about this. I'll leave them linked in the description and somewhere up here. Downsides of living in central London. Definitely one of the biggest downsides is the cost. It is very expensive to live in central London. And it's something that you should definitely factor in when you're deciding to move here or accept a position to study medicine in London. What's your favorite city? Toronto for sure super high rise buildings, very wide open streets, just that city hustle and bustle without feeling suffocated like I sometimes do feel here in London. And there's the harbor front where you can cycle or go for runs. Drake is from there. It's my favorite city. All right, time to answer the questions that you've all been waiting for, relationships. Do you want to marry me? Would you like to have dinner? Are you in a relationship? Any relationship? Are you single? The girlfriend topic, still available. Are you in a relationship? And can I take you on a date? So yes, I am in a relationship. She's an absolute gem and I would love for you guys to meet her. Hopefully she comes on the channel soon. What is your ideal type of partner? Honestly, my partner has to be able to do a bunch of things. I'm a pretty picky guy, but some of the things off the top of my head, she needs to be confident, she needs to be able to challenge me, she needs to be able to make me laugh, and I need to feel completely safe and comfortable around her. Is your girlfriend studying medicine as well? No, my girlfriend studied politics and international relations for her undergraduate degree, and then she did the GDL, which is a conversion course for law, so she's gonna be a lawyer soon. All right, guys, and that is it. That is all the questions answered. This recording is an hour and 20 minutes long. I'm sure it's gonna be extremely difficult to edit. If you guys enjoyed this video, please do leave a like on it and subscribe to my channel to see more videos from me in the future. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching me evolve. Every time I hit record, I feel like I become more confident and more personable in front of the camera. So I hope you guys are enjoying these videos more and more. Thank you all for watching my videos. Your support means so much to me and I will see you in the next one. Peace. What's with the orange dog? Have you given the orange dog a name? What's up with the orange dog in almost all videos? Does it symbolize something? You know, this question is pretty boring. I think I'm gonna skip it.